This right here is your normal size can of Red Bull and about the same size over here is a cinema in your pocket. How crazy is this? This is a mini projector I just got for myself. I'm really excited about it so I'm gonna share it with you. It is so cool. I'm gonna tell you why I think it's perfect for my lifestyle. But first of all, some quick facts about this beauty. The material and the workmanship really is nice. I love the design. It really just feels like good quality. And the weight is nice too. It's, it's kind of heavy. At a full charge, this bad boy has four hours of battery life. At this size, the image looks really good. But you can still go bigger. And it's still really fun to look at. It's pretty crisp. You can, of course, see some pixels. and like It's not perfectly sharp like a 4K amazing projector would be, but it's good enough for me. And if you want to, you could go even bigger. I don't really have the wall for it, but even this still looks really awesome. It's also not a problem to project at a slant. The nebula will do a pretty good job at correcting the screen. So even if you don't have a perfectly straight setup, it does a pretty good job. Check that out. It costs 350 euros. Probably about the same in dollars. They're about the same these days, right? I was surprised to find out that this thing is actually made by Anker, or Anker, the same guys that make this power bank that I've been using for like three, four years. And I've actually been really happy with this product. So I have a lot of trust into this brand. They're not paying me to make this video or say anything nice about them, but Anker, if you're watching this, Anker, let me know how to pronounce your name and also would love to do something together. You guys are awesome. This right here is a built-in speaker that projects sounds in 360 degrees. The quality is, is pretty good. It's not amazing, but look at the size of this thing. It's, it's about as what you would expect from a speaker this size. Um, you have an HDMI input on the back. You have a micro USB input and with a little dongle you can even attach your USB. But it also does Bluetooth which we're going to talk about later because the software is actually the most important thing. Also it has a tripod mount at the bottom, just a little screw. I like that. We always have a tripod around. You can also just hit this button and then it switches to a portable speaker mode. The only problem is there's no screen protection for this but I guess you could just use a piece of tape and then put it in your bag. It would be nice if they had a protection for it, huh? So you get the basic idea of how this thing works. I'm really excited about it because for well, multiple reasons, why well, I think this is the perfect product for, for our family. Might not be for you, but we never wanted a television in our apartment. Like we have some wall space, but because we have so many screens around us all the time, we work on the laptop, we edit a lot, we have to do all the social media stuff. We didn't want to have this huge screen just taking over a wall. For us it's really nice to be like done and get all screens away. It kind of just sets a better atmosphere. On top of that we travel a lot, so even if we found this perfect, tasteful looking TV home cinema setup that we love, we wouldn't be able to use it most of the time, so we kind of scrapped it. I looked at a few different projectors, but they all seemed like such a hassle. You'd have different cables and connections, and then you would need all these devices. It, it was all messy. None of the products I found felt like a well thought out, finished product. Even the small projectors, you find small projectors, but they're kind of for office people. They And usually they don't have a good speaker, they don't have, uh, you have to connect it to something, to Apple TV. It's just a struggle. Until I found the Nebula and I was like, oh, this is different because it has software built in. So let me show you the software because that is what makes this thing really, like without the software, I wouldn't have gotten this. So as you can see right here, the Nebula isn't connected to anything. It's just by itself projecting onto a piece of paper. It does come with a remote, but we don't need that because you can control it with your phone. Lights off. This is what the Nebula looks like when you boot it up. This is the home screen. It has Android installed and you can install your own apps. Amazon Prime, YouTube, Netflix, VLC player, everything you need. And then you can control it just using your phone. What kind of sucks is that you can't log into your own account on YouTube, but you can search and super neat, 
when you search, you don't have to use this shitty keyboard. You can simply type what you want to search on your phone. Yeah, so you control the whole thing on your phone. It's a super awesome, super easy. Like how cool is that? I can travel with it, boom, set it up wherever I go. I just need to log into the Wi-Fi and I can watch a movie and it's awesome. I, I'm so happy and when I found this out, Emily was so happy. <laughs> it's really easy to connect your Bluetooth headphones to, to the Nebula. So I don't have to wake up the baby, I can just put on a movie and fall asleep without bothering anybody. So there's one more bonus feature which is you can probably get some really cool photos with it. And look at this. A chandelier plus projector. Super trippy. Whoa. Unlimited possibilities. I almost forgot, AirPlay works as well. You can just play any video or YouTube from, from your phone straight to the projector. Also, apparently I just found out you can connect your Nintendo Switch to it. So that sounds really fun. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I actually really get pretty nerdy about this kind of stuff. I really get into it and I try to find like, because we only get to have very few things. Emily and I are very selective about what products we buy. So we really look into what to get before we buy anything. And we like to try around and just get different stuff and keep optimizing. So I hope you enjoyed me sharing this with you. There's other things that I'm excited about. I'll let you know, and I'll see you soon.